Hello and welcome to the first challenge of the JSON API course. So in this video, we're going to be looking at event handling and to execute functions when certain events happen. So the first thing we need to consider is how we can run some code after the page has finished loading. So this is important, for example, if you're going to edit some element text or something, and we want to make sure this element exists first so that an error doesn't get thrown when we try to modify it. So to do this, we can use a method called add event listener, and we run this on the document object. So I would say document dot add event listener, and this function takes in two arguments. So the first argument is a string, and that string describes a type of event. So this can be, for example, click, or in the, our case, for when a page is finished loading, this is called DOM content loaded. So DOM stands for document object model. So the first argument, if we we're going to run a function after page load, would be DOM content loaded. And the second argument is a function. Now you can give a variable name to a function here, or you can write in a function like I've done here. And if I were to write some code in here, Uh, this code only gets executed once the page is loaded. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to run a function when an element gets clicked. And to do this, we can call, well, we can set a property called onClick on a selection. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a selection of the element we want to target. And if they have an ID like this one here with button one, we can call the get element by ID method on document. And the argument this takes is a string with the ID of the element we want to target. Now remember that an ID is unique to an element, so this should only return one element. And this right here we can set this to a variable. So I can say let button equals, and we can use now use button to reference this button element whenever we want. So if I were to console.log button, we have this element right here. Now these elements have a property called on click. And what that is, is it's set to a function to run when this element is clicked. And what we can do now is we can set this to a function to run some code of our choice. So I can say console.log button pressed here. And now if I press this button, as you can see in the console, the code has been executed. And I don't even have to do this to the button variable. I could just say this dot on click equals and then this function. And again, you can give a variable name of a function. So now we're going to look at the challenge. So what they want us to do is add a click event handler inside the DOM content loaded. So they've already done a DOM content loaded function here. So this will only run when the page is loaded. And we have to get, we have to add a click event handler for the element with the ID of get message. So the first thing to do is select the element. And remember, we can use get element by ID because they said it has an ID of get message. So I'm going to do that now. Be careful with the capital, capital letters here. So the ID is get message, as they've said here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And what we can do is we can just assign this to a variable. So let message element. And then what I can do is dot on click oops, equals, and then just create a function like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one.